A man that plows a field must continue to look in front of him, replied Jesus. If he looks behind him, he cannot plow well. If he looks behind him, he cannot plow well. Luke chapter 9 verse 62 Dear child of God, you keep focusing on the past glory. You keep putting your eyes on the things that you should have taken your eyes off from. There are some things that are said to be limitations in your life, and one of which is past successes. And it's high time you look away from all of those things and look forward to the greater things that you ought to achieve. And even more, when you look behind, look to the past, when you keep putting your eyes on the things that you didn't do so rightly, it will hinder your moving forward. When you spend your time focusing on those areas you had made a whole lot of mistake, dear child of God, it will be difficult for you to make progress in life. And so like Jesus said, a man that plows a field must continue to look in front of him. For you to make progress in life, put things in front of you that you should continually look forward to. Not putting your eyes anymore on the things of the past. Stop putting your eyes on the errors of the past, the mistakes and the things that you did not do so rightly. You have to look in front and take your eyes from the things behind so as to really achieve the much you want to achieve. No man moves and goes as fast as he wants to if he keep looking backward. There is no driver that drives so well if he keep looking backward. You would be able to do all that you want to do excellently if you keep facing forward. The more you are looking behind as you are going is the likability for you to have an accident. So the reason why it seems as if you are stuck in your journey, the reason why it seems as if you are held up, the reason why it seems as if you are having a lot of limitation on your journey forward is because you keep looking behind. And every time you keep on looking behind instead of looking forward, you are actually creating that space to have things to limit you on your way. So it's time that you look forward so as to make the forward progress that you ought to make. People who keep looking behind may not be able to tell of the great things that are to come in the future. So if you keep focusing on your mistakes, if you keep focusing on your wrongs, if you keep focusing on your errors, instead of looking for ways to make amends and get the best out of your life, you may not be able to lead anyone anywhere. No leader leads people looking backward. The leader is looking forward to the things that they ought to achieve. He or she is looking forward to the things that have been set before them. So it's high time that you take your eyes away from the errors of the past, from the things that would hinder your progress, from the things that would hinder your moving forward. These were the emphasis Jesus made as regards his talk on this subject. So have you noticed the plow? Be it in the mechanical form, a tractor, or what have you, or the animal, which is the oxen or the oxes, as the case may be, you will discover they weren't designed to reverse or go backwards while plowing. If you check very clearly, the plow is always set to move forward. Why? Because it will make a mess of it all moving backward. So all that he has to spend its time doing is to move forward so as not to make a waste so as not to make a blunder of the things that they have done and this is the mentality we should have we should have that focus mentality of moving forward at all times the word of god in isaiah chapter 1 
verse 4 says that the only one is provoked to anger whenever its own is going away backward and we need to pay attention to this truth then following god requires a commitment not forsaking the ways of the lord it requires our determination and a high level of discipline we must make up our mind to keep making daily forward progress at all times and importantly we must know that there is no room for backsliding there is no room to backslide backsliding isn't in any way a thing the lord likes to always deal with but for his mercies he considers but never make it something you are used to for jesus said those folks are in feet for the kingdom of god if they keep looking back so you see that everything that connects to you setting a limitation to moving forward everything that connects to you injuring yourself from moving forward isn't something nice god has spoken about it jesus has spoken about it and we have seen it even in our present time that there are some things that are not designed to move backward so you should make up your mind to tell yourself i will not focus on the errors of the past anymore i will not focus on the things that i cannot control anymore there are some things that you cannot change and many times it is in the past the things that you cannot alter anymore are the things that are in the past but you have everything to do with what is in the future you have everything to create that future that you want so don't bother your head so much with the things that you cannot change anymore the things that are in the past do everything to take it off your heart and make a forward progress so that you can achieve the things that has been set before you so are you making yourself on feet often by looking backward ask god for the grace to help you to maintain a focused approach to the things that are ahead of you determined to maintain a forward movement especially with christ determined to make progress in your work with god determined to make progress in your pursuit in life determined to make progress in the things that you have set your heart to achieve and i can guarantee you dear child of god you will definitely achieve it so plow and keep plowing until you reach the end don't ever give room to look backward no matter the situation do not put your hands in the plow and look back if your hands are already in the plow then make up your mind to keep looking forward and never to look back and i know by the grace of god you will be miraculously helped i know by the grace of god you will receive all the sustenance there is to achieve all the things that are ahead of you in the mighty name of jesus so you can pray this prayer and ask the lord to help you never to consider backwardness at any time in your work with him not to look at the things that will cause you to backslide in the mighty name of jesus make up your mind that your soul will follow hard after god as david said in psalm 63 verse 8 and the lord will strengthen you in the mighty name of jesus christ it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom